in this video we are going to learn uh, uh, what is a filter uh, palette function and how to configure the palette function i am going to start with uh, creating the iflow so basically filter uh, uh, it use uh, filter palette function is used to filter the content uh, incoming content to that uh, palette function so it only supports the xml as an input so it can only filter the xml data so for that one i am going to use an uh, content modifier uh, with a static uh, xml payload okay so i am uh, taking an employees data uh, So total I have an uh, records of five, uh, one double zero one, one double zero two, three, and five. Okay. So this is the uh, XML input I'm going to pass to the filter. So now I'm going to add the filter palette function. So it has an uh, uh, parameters like XPath expression and value. So basically, we need to pass the uh, X path, which from where you know we want to filter the data. So employee is so the first uh, filter I would like to do with uh, I would like to filter the data with uh, hiring date. Okay. Uh, the hiring date uh, who has been joined uh, after the 2020 Jan 1st so here you can see we have an hire date okay so that is greater than Twenty twenty Jan first. Okay, all the records which uh, who has been uh, hired after the Jan first. So I am going to use a simulation function to test this one. the it is successfully filter we will see the input of this uh, filter what we have given so this is the input you can see the records 001 002 003 uh, 004 and 5 okay now we'll see output of the filter we have given as an x path with hiring date greater than jan 1st now you can see 001 the hiring date is greater than jan 1st and next is a 002 the hiring date is greater than jan 1st and next you can see there is an uh, no skip of 003 you can see the hiring date is greater than jan 1 and there is a no record of 005 since this two has been joined before jan 1st of 2021 there is a 03 is in 2019 and 05 is 2018 so this is how the filter works okay so we'll see one more uh, scenario like uh, i want the uh, details of the employees uh, whose the department is either finance or it so we have an uh, department field you can see here so this is a department field which has finance it hr marketing and it so i am going to filter based on the it department
and finance okay now i should get how many records i should get three records which have department of it and finance now i am again going to run the simulation it has been successful now we'll see 001 002 since this is an uh, department is finance and 002 department is uh, it and last department it of 005 here you can see we got the three records so this how many records we got three records so we'll see one more uh, x path expression with the uh, now i'm going to filter uh, the employees based on the salary salary greater than 80000 so i have selected the value type as node list okay so now i am going to filter the employees you can see how many salary we have record 1 with 75000 record 2 with 95 record 3 with 80 record 4 with uh, 870 and record 5 with 85 now how many records we should get i have given the 80 we should get two records i am running the simulation you can see we have an 002 with a salary 95 which is greater than 80 and 1005 with a salary of 85000 which is greater than 80 so this is how the filter works with a node list type now you can see observe carefully we here we have a two records with the node list now i am going to select the node okay now again i am executing the run simulation now you can observe the main difference between the node list and node i got only one zero one double zero two record so the main difference between the node list and node is so node list will uh, check uh, condition for the all the uh, uh, all, all the records are uh, how many records are satisfying the condition which we have given in the filter that all records will be fetch but whereas node it will only the fetch the first record the uh, whose condition is satisfied so it will skip the remaining records okay we have other uh, uh, value types here you can see so for the same salary okay so what is the salary that i am going to fetch so since the salary is a uh, number so that number will be fetched Here you can see the number has been fetched. If I select the string, so it has been converted into string. You can see there is a uh, decimal point is missing for the clarification i will pass non integer fill
now the value should be in the first record finance now for the same case if i pass the integer so it would be given an empty data since finance is a not an integer value it is a string whereas in the previous case we have seen with giving and 75000 70000 for the salary with the string value type it has given the value it has been converted into string okay we have another value type the type boolean okay what does it do it will check whether this element is present or not okay if it is present it provides the value as true see value as true now what i am going to do i am going to delete the okay with deleting this also it will give an true value but why we are using that boolean see true after deleting the value of the element element also it is giving since what it is doing after the first record since it is not available it is going for the second record okay so since we have not passed any condition to check for particular condition whether this is available or not you have given directly the direct x path so it has been checking the second one in the case of first one is not there now i am going to pass only the one record here i have only one record with uh, there is a no department in this one okay now what i am going to see execute it now you will be getting and false here you can see you got a false so since i have not passed any condition for one particular record to check so i have given the di direct xml path so it is checking the direct if you have a uh, multiple records uh, in that particular uh, id if i want to check whether that one then here we need to pass the condition so this is how the filter uh, works in the SAP CPA.